Alright guys, it's time to say goodbye to the Goodbye Summer event and hello to the Barbecue Party and Moon Bunnies Mysterious event. It's kind of broken up into a couple of parts. The first part is where you get the required materials for the event and that, like most events, uh, is just by killing monsters till they're dead and taking the event item that they drop. For this event, they drop a couple of different items and you've got to collect a certain amount of each one. You've got like the skewers, the onions, pineapples, mushrooms and beef slices. Most of them will give you the reward of the barbecue. It looks like a shish kebab. Or this one that gives you a 30 minute auto battle recharge ticket. But once you've collected some of the barbecue, so I'll just get these two that I've got so far, to the Moon Bunnies mystery event, and you can see I've got two barbecues right there. And then next to it, I've got zero magnifying glasses. So you can buy the magnifying glasses down the bottom for 200k. Oh, okay, the first one's 200k, the second one's 500k. And you can buy two of them every day. And then I can use one of those magnifying glasses to look underneath one of the bunnies. So I'll just take a look under this one and I'll peek inside the box. Mysterious Armor Refining Powder, epic. I didn't say how much was there. So I'll just take a look at the reward list. And as you can see, there's actually some pretty decent rewards from this event. Uh, unfortunately, there's none of the, like, the inventory expansion or the storage expansion slot like this Goodbye Summer event. Those ones are just too good to be true. But oh, here we go. So it, can, it actually tells me which one I'm taking a peek at. So I'm taking a peek at the 30 epic armor refining powder. What are the other ones? All right, 10 armor refining, that's all right. Experience tickets and some buffs. Auto battle. I mean, there's the unique powder, which would be good. Uh, as far as they go, that's pretty good. So then I can choose to open the box and then I'll get the reward that was in it. And we've just got one more and I'll take a peek inside this one. Ooh. Yes. Give me that. How many was that? Five. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was more. I got the top reward there, the five unique armor powder. So that's not too bad, and I can still open three more. Once I get the barbecues from the event, I've still got to collect some pineapples, and then I'll get two more of the barbecue from those beef slices. Or, I mean, if you're really impatient, or you've got a really fat wallet, you could buy the extra barbecues down there for 30. The first one is 30, but looking at how the mesos increase for the Moon Bunny's magnifying glass, I can't be certain that it won't increase. And to be honest, you know what? They're probably not worth buying. Even though they're only 30 each, the rewards, it's just, it's not really worth the gamble because you could end up just getting crap items. And then the other button down the bottom, which we have filled boxes, you can use once you've opened up five of like the hidden moon bunny things and that will just reset them all to be hidden and it'll also reset the rewards. But I assume it resets the placement of everything because every account, every time will have a different setup of all the rewards. Or once you open up all the boxes, they will flip back over and all the rewards will get moved around again. And that's pretty much all there is to the event. If you forget how to do the event, you can click the event procedure button and that'll pop up a little information of what to do. And also a tip for getting all the barbecues. If you run out of auto battle timer on your main character or the character that you're playing at the moment, because the event to get all the barbecue pieces is shared across your account, if you run out of auto battle on one character, you can just start auto battling on another character and he will work towards the event as well. So if you fall a little bit short of getting like the 140 beef slices or something, just hop on one of your other characters and auto it up. Because guys, it's worth it. The, the event's just giving us mad free items. Let's see how much those five unique whetstones could do on a unique armor. Now I'll chuck that in. All right, so it's only five, but one. Oh, it leveled up. Oh, that was two. So one gives 64%, all five of them. All right, it gets me to level three. Not bad, level four. Wow, all right, those unique whetstones are really good. Oh, by the way, guys, if you watched the video where I made all the legendaries and I was talking about how the trade stations bugged, uh, like a couple of hours later after I posted the legendaries for sale, I went back to check on them and all of them were missing. So I can confirm at the moment, unless they fixed it in the last like 12 hours, the trade station is bugged, but I checked and the items were still up for sale. Even though I couldn't see them in my currently selling tab, they eventually came back and one of them even sold. See, so yeah, as I was saying, it is buggy, but hopefully your items come back. If you use the trade station and they go missing and they don't come back, don't blame me. Alright, cheers for watching. Hit the like if you did and subscribe to see more. Oh, and also go to the description, click on that giveaway link and complete it. I'm doing a giveaway. It ends in like six five days. It's like 5,000 crystals. Catch a boy!